Hi folks! Well, I'll apologise in advance because I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so um, my throat's a bit croaky and I'll probably be sniffing throughout this video. But it's repair time, and it's my mobile phone which um, was plugged in charging a couple of weeks ago and got knocked flying off the desk, and it's kind of uh, knackered up the charging port on here. And although it does still charge, as you can hear, there's a, a bit of damage in that port. So I'm going to pull this to pieces and see if I can fix it. Hopefully I can, because if I can't it's time for a new phone before the battery runs out. Now let's have a look what we've got going on in here. I've got a, um, it's not the standard battery, the standard battery died, but when I got the phone I got this double capacity thing, um, which doesn't fit properly, which is why they give you this horrible flimsy plastic back, but good enough. Um, we've got a bunch of little screws around the side there, so I'm going to start off by pulling those out and um, see what happens after that. You say there's nothing like having the right tool for the job, and this is nothing like the right tool for the job. I've no idea where I got this little screwdriver from. It probably came out of a Christmas cracker or something. But they're crosshead screws, and this seems to fit. So I'll whip out these nine screws. Okay, I switched screwdrivers and managed to get that off. Um, as I understand it, the next thing you need to do is unclip the front from the uh, body. Um, Everyone seems to use some kind of specialist tool for this, but I have thumbnails that are made out of adamantium, so um, this really isn't too tricky without any kind of special tooling. And we're out. Um, and the charge port lives under there, so this loudspeaker module is going to need to come off. Looks like there's three screws on that. Just, uh, so that's, this is just speaker by the looks of it. it could be a surprisingly large amount of... Uh, not sure what's going on over here, that's clearly the speaker assembly. Not sure what that piece is, possibly some form of Bluetooth antenna or something. We've got this little board here that's actually got the charging port on. We've got a couple of little cables, we've got some form of antenna cable there. There you are, cut that off. And there's this little flat flex here that needs to come off as well. There we go. And then this should just slide out. There we go. So that's got me the charging port. Now I'm going to put this under the microscope and see if I can see where the problem lies with this. Let's have a play with that. So here we are under the uh, Lapson 14 megapixel microscope. Um, I said before I'd ordered some different lenses for this, and this is with the 0.5 times Barlow lens on, which gives me an incredible working distance. It's about 30, 40 centimeters from the board to the lens on the microscope. So I've got loads of vertical room, which is great for soldering under. Um, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see on here. I'm suspecting that one of these pins at the back here has become lifted off. But I suspect if I press on these pins, one of them might have a bit of movement in it. Can't really see very much going on with that. Let's try a bit of zoom in. Oh, that was the wrong control. That's why. There we go. So. I think what I'll do is I'll just run the soldering iron across these terminals, heat them up and see if that helps at all, and then I'll try playing with the cable, and then I'll try playing with the cable and see if uh, I'm able to get it to seat properly because there's no obvious signs of damage on there. So you'll have to put up with a uh, poor viewing angle on this but I need to be able to see what I'm doing for this because it's quite detailed. Uh, 
I'm just heating these up to reseat them a bit. No idea if any of these were actually lifted. I couldn't see it under the microscope. I'm just going to give that another quick look under the big microscope. I think they're all fairly well mated to the board there. I'll put it back in and see if it worked. Okay, just clipped it back together. I'm not going to bother putting the screws in at the moment. I just want to see how that charging socket's faring up. I suppose I'd better give it a SIM card and things like that. You know, high level of confidence this is going to work. I'll put all the cards back in now, including my SIM card, which is uh, neatly cut to size there. And it goes in that way around, I believe. And it does, so I haven't totally broken it. That's a good sign. Um, give it a minute to boot up will be boring for you guys. Hey, I can fast forward this. So yeah, I'm clearly running custom firmware on this. It's called Paranoid Android. Very, very good set of firmware. Well, this is actually Pac-Man ROMs, which is Paranoid Android, Cyanogen Mod, and the Android Open Source Kernel. And it takes ages to boot. So you probably can't see on the screen, but it says connect your charger and no matter what I do now, it no longer charges at all. So I've successfully made things worse. Um, I'll have another go at that, I guess. And my battery's pretty much flat. I'll charge the battery while I do it. Let's try attempt two. Battery is low. Power off. We'll try that again. So back under the microscope here, and you can see there's a couple of solder pads on the end that are actually a bit more visible. And um, what's happened there is two of the pins have actually broken off. So although I couldn't see it before, those two pins at the end there must have had a fracture in the wire itself. And uh, as I tried to touch them up and solder them, it's just cleaned them off altogether. Okay, so I've got two broken pins on this connector. I've had a look online to see if I can get a replacement connector, and I probably can, but it's going to take a few days before it could arrive. Um, so I'm going to try and repair the two pins here and they're just far too small to attempt with the soldering iron so I'm going to see if I can do something with hot air to get those reconnected. This one at the end, the, the one in the middle I think I might be able to rejoin but the one at the end the pin's totally broken off so I'm going to have to try and put a piece of wire there instead and um, given that that's the size of one of my fingers I, I really can't actually see what I'm doing very well but um, Hey, uh, give it a try. What's the worst that can happen? So, I think I've done a reasonable repair job on that middle pin, and it's just the one at the end now which has got a break in it. Um, I'm going to try some of this wire wrapping wire, which is reasonably fine, and I hope because it's on the end, I'll be able to come in from the side and just join a piece of wire onto that connection to uh, hold it together because I can pre bend this wire to the right shape and I've got a good length to hold it to position it in the right place. Um, I can also pre-tin this wire and then use hot air to try and stick it in place. So that's what I'm going to have a try with. Um, I'm afraid I'm just not going to be able to video this, I don't think. Well, I just can't hold this wire still enough to solder it properly, so I've tried blue tacking it down, which allows me to adjust very, very precisely the angle of the wire. So you can see that I can just twist that ever so slightly and the uh, unsteadiness in my hands doesn't need to play through. So I'm going to try some hot air on that now. Well, 
I think that repair might be good enough, so I'm going to reassemble the phone once again and give it another try. Okay, so if it still switches on, let's give it another try. Charging 45%. And wiggling the cable doesn't change it anymore. Yay, I fixed it! Right, I'm going to put the screws back in this then. Superb! Excellent. Happy now? Cool.